welcome to simple crochet channel I'm so glad to be with you in this video I hope everyone is doing great and enjoying learning new stitches and in this video we are going to continue our course so as I told you this is going to be the scarf video today I'm going to explain how to apply certain variation of single crochet stitch to do a scarf and how to read the pattern and I'm going to show you the full pattern and full diagram for a scarf and do it with you but before starting I'm going to tell you certain things about the scarf the scarf uses four row repetition to create this unit and just repeat the four rows which I'm going to show you in the video now to do the scarf it's kind of reversible scarf it has two shapes this shape here from here and this one from here so you can wear it either ways in the original picture of the scarf the scarf was done in links that I started chaining the links that I need then work it the pattern but for beginners I prefer that you would do it in whites so you would have a small portion so if you get confused and do something wrong it's easy for you to just undo the work you have done and start over again so I started with this small portion to do the scarf with you but if you work it in lengths the shape of the scarf will be like this so the pattern will give you this shape but if you do it in white the pattern will give you this shape either way it's very beautiful pattern and very easy and creates a very good texture of course I'm going to discuss the written instruction with you row by row in the video but if you want to have the written instruction just leave a comment under the video and I'm going to send it to you so let's start doing this pattern in the previous video we discuss the we discuss the variation of single crochet because we are going to use some of these variation to do the pattern I'm going to show you some certain things about the pattern first before starting doing the actual work as any pattern it shows you the materials that you need to work with you are going to use the hook 6 or 6 5 millimeter hook the yarn any four medium or worsted yarn you can use any kind of yarn but the actual or the original scarf was made with line brand wool ease of course you can use any kind of yarn but make sure that it goes correctly or suitably with the crochet hook and I prefer using bigger crochet hook like 6 or 6.5 6 millimeter hook so it would be easy for you to find the stitch now this pattern can be adjusted to any age meaning that when you want to make this pattern for child or teens or adult you are going to change the number of stitches that you start working with and then he gives you the amount of yardage or meters or yarn that you are going to use for each size now for children 6 or 10 years usually patterns uh, contain all this 29 yards when you buy any kind of yarn it usually has the number of the yardage that the uh, one pole make so you are going to need 290 yards this will make you 5.75 inches in wide and 45 inches in length for this uh, size of the children now to make a teen scarf you are going to need 450 yards and this is the size that you will get and for adult which I'm going to present and show you in this video you are going to need 750 yards and it will give you this measure now of course these yardage and these sizes can be adjustable it's not going to be 
the exact measures because it depends on your tension, on your yarn, and on the crochet hook you are going to use. Now, note which means that you have to take care of these stuff in your mind. This pattern is written in the US terms. There are, of course, US terms and UK terms and usually most of the pattern are used in the US terms which I am showing you during this course. You can use any kind of yarn as long as it's medium size and goes with the hook size which means that you need to be careful with using the yarn and the hook, the suitable hook for the yarn. When doing the special stitch, which means that the pattern has a special stitch and it's always explained before the pattern. So pull the long loop. So you have to keep in mind that you are going to pull the loop to match the height of the row you are working in. And of course, I'm going to show you how. Or you will find the edges are rippling and a bit stiff. Uh, and I'm going to show you all this. Chain one at the beginning of each row. I told you that to do a single crochet, you are going to need to chain one, and it's not counted as a stitch. Is not counted as. The instructions given here are for adult size, so we are going to make the adult size. Of course, if you want any other size for children, for teens, for any size. Just leave a comment and I will send you the measurements for these. You can adjust these widths by starting with any odd number. So our pattern is going to be started in odd number of its chains. And the length is by repeating the pattern more. So whenever you need to make your work wide, you are going to make an odd number of chains. And if you wanted to make it longer, you are going to repeat the four rows more than one time. Now, the abbreviation for this pattern, of course we have, of course we have already known this. This means chains, this means stitch, skip means you are going to skip and not work in the stitch, single crochet, single crochet front loop, single crochet back loop, and the special stitch. You already know this stuff, so I'm going to explain this stitch. So the special stitch means LSC. This abbreviation means long single crochet. That is done like this. You are going to insert your hook into the chain or the stitch. Yarn over, you are going to yarn over and pull a long loop and I'm going to show you to the height of the row you are working in you are going to yarn over and complete your single crochet now we have known that it's a four repetition row it's working in odd number of chains it has a special stitch and you can adjust your pattern to the size that you want it's written in the US terms and the chaining one at the beginning of each row doesn't count as a stitch. Now to start working this pattern I am going to use another yarn. I already started my uh, scarf here but I'm going to use this just to show you how I am going to work. So I'm going to start with slip knot like we did here and here and going with you row by row now the pattern in instruction says chain 28 or the odd number plus one chain for the height so 27 chains plus one for the height now I am going to show you in a small sample that not to make the video too long for you I'm going to chain any odd number and this is for beginners this is again I'm going to repeat how you are going to chain your tip is facing you your two finger holding your stitch like this move your hook around and just pull it through the loop 
and make your lube movable so it works smoothly and easy for you move it like this and just pull again pull another one and pull and do the 28 chains One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I have my odd number plus one for the height. I am going to mark this last one. It's very important to mark this stitch here. Now, what I'm going to do. Now, I have made my chain of 28 or the 26 plus 1, the odd number plus 1. Then I'm going to start row 1. This means that I am going to single crochet in the chain 2, the second chain from the hook. So I'm going to do one single crochet in the second chain, chain 2. This means second chain here in this pattern from the hook and each chain across which gives me total of 27 chains so this is this is the market uh, stitch here and this is the second chain from the hook so I'm going to insert my hook and do one single crochet and do one single crochet across the whole row. I have reached the end and I did my last stitch and I should have an odd number of single crochet. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. I started with 12 and finished with 11 because I skipped one chain here and they put the marker and they didn't go inside the first chain. I started with the second. Now this is row 1 ends, so I'm going to chain 1 and turn. Whenever I finish my row, I am going to chain 1 and turn. And mark, of course, this stitch here. To do row 2. Here row 2 means chain 1 and turn. That's what I did. It doesn't count as a stitch single crochet back loop in the first stitch this is stitch one this stitch one means the first stitch and in each stitch across the row total of 27 stitches then chain one and the third again we are going to work single crochet back loop in the first stitch so I do have here two loops this is the chain one I have done and this is the first stitch I have two loops I'm going to insert my hook in the back loop here only yarn over and pull through you have two loops yarn over and pull through two and I'm going to repeat this across the row like this in the back loop only
Of course, for beginners, if you find this stitch or the special stitch in the pattern difficult, you can just do the whole scarf. One row of single crochet, one row of back loop, one row of single crochet, and one row of back loop. It will create very good texture. This is the front loop of the back loop stitch. Now I am going to chain one and turn and mark this stitch. To start row three. This is row three. Single crochet in the stitch number one in the first stitch and in each stitch across it total of 27 stitches again so I am going to single crochet in the first stitch this is with the marker and this is the first so I'm going to insert my hook this time I'm not going to insert my hook in only one loop no I am going to use both loops here these are the two loops I'm going to insert my hook under post loops and do single and across the whole row Now, this marker helps me to find where I am going to end here. And see, working with, with sick yarn and big crochet hook helps me to work quickly and I won't miss any stitch. Now, I'm going to chain one and the third. Mark this stitch. And now, I'm going to do row four of the pattern so row four says that I'm going to chain one and the third that's what I did single crochet in the first stitch this is the first stitch so I'm going to do single crochet like this long single crochet in the back loop stitch from row 2 this means that I am going to do a single crochet but in the back loop stitch from row 2 I do have here row 2 and as you can see this is the loop the front loop of the stitch that I didn't work with this is here the back loop stitch and this is the front loop so I'm going to do this I'm going to skip this loop here and work in the next why? because I have already done this single crochet in the stitch equal to the first stitch and I'm going to do one single crochet long one in the second stitch in the back loop stitch here from row 2 like this I am going to insert my hook in this loop here see I just insert my hook in this loop pull the yarn and go through it now I can't do single crochet like this with these two fingers, I am going to hold my loop here from row 2 and just pull a long loop. That's why it's called long single crochet. So it will be long loop and just finish it together. Now it creates this shape. That's why I hold this loop. Then I am going to skip the stitch here that I have worked the long loop in 
and go to the next stitch and make single crochet regular one then I'm going to skip one loop here from row 2 and go to the next loop and work long single crochet like this insert the hook hold it with my finger yarn over and pull through it and hold it hold it hold it and pull long loop and finish it with single crochet now I am going to skip one stitch and work in the next like this again I am going to skip one loop and do work in the next loop yarn and pull hold it with your finger and pull long loop you need to bear in mind that your loop should be long because if it was small or uh, short your work will be now skip this stitch here and work single crochet in the next so basically we are going single crochet in this and single crochet in this single crochet in this and single crochet in this so I'm going to skip this loop and work in the next loop insert yarn and pull with these two fingers these are these two fingers are very important that's why I told you to hold the yarn the way I uh, hold it now hold this stitch and pull so if you pull without holding it it will see get bigger but if you hold it and pull your loop is going to be bigger skip one stitch and do another single crochet in the next skip this loop and reach to the next loop and do a single crochet insert hold and pull now you are going to end your row all the time with one single crochet in the last stitch here and then chain one and that's the pattern it looks like this creates a very very good texture and very beautiful look now I am going to repeat again but let's see what the pattern says first so after showing you how to do it you are going to single crochet in the first stitch we have done single crochet in the first stitch then the long single crochet in the back loop then we skip the stitch the one behind the long single crochet and then single crochet in the next this star here means that you are going to repeat the whole row from there so you are going to repeat the long single crochet then the single crochet and so on until you reach the end of your row and you should end with one single crochet regular one now repeat rows one from one to four one two three four till you reach the desired length or till it measures 70 inches as an adult uh, measurement then finishing cut the yarn and fasten off now I have made you a diagram so it will help you to understand it clear again we started with this foundation chain and odd number of any chain that you would like then I chained one for the height and this is row one so I work one single crochet so I am going to work one single crochet across the whole row one single crochet then I'm going to chain one for the height turn my work of course you are going to mark this stitch here but just now I turned my work then then I'm going to work one single crochet back loop the shape here means one single back loop 
so I am going to work in the back loop here if you do have any comment of how I'm going how I'm explaining things or the speed of the video just leave a comment of your suggestions and I will be more than glad to listen to all your ideas and comments so I have worked one back loop it creates these loops here it's these loops in the front now I'm going to chain one and turn of course I'm going to mark this stitch and the diagram says and the diagram says you're going to chain one and work one row of single crochet regular one so I'm going to skip this one then I'm going to do one single crochet all across the row now I'm going to chain one and turn my work of course you are going to mark this stitch as well now the pattern says that you are going to do single crochet in the single crochet here but long single crochet in the back loop that is created from row two then single crochet then one long single crochet single crochet long single crochet and always end is one single crochet and just repeat your pattern so I'm going to do one single crochet in the first stitch then find the next loop here this is the first loop so I will go to the next loop and just do long single crochet insert my hook hold pull the yarn keep holding this loop here and pull long loop and do single S skip the stitch behind the long single crochet and work one single crochet in the next skip one loop from under and work in the next keep holding this with your finger and uh, and pull long loop skip one and work in the next skip these and so you will find the last one here and work single crochet and that's how your work should look like and it also looks beautiful from the other side and it gives you these line pops from these previous. so this is the applied pattern for the single crochet and the diagram I'm going to share this diagram with the picture of my finished scarf on post uh, Facebook groups and please if you do have any comment just leave leave it there and I will be more than glad to answer all your comments on the next day just practice it and if you need anything just ask whoever will post a picture of the final products will get to have the pattern for free the written pattern the computerized written pattern with all the uh, sizes and I'm going to do a competition between all those who will post their picture and and choose one to be the profile picture with her name on it on my Facebook group as a prize so please participate 
please share the video and please subscribe to the channel for supporting it and so I do have more option and I can make uh, videos like this so I hope you like the video and find it clear and informative if you do have any comment just leave it and I will be more than glad to read all your comments thank you for watching and see you in another tutorial